And I am being joined by a very special guest who is going to talk to us about this um, opportunity because he is the, uh, the I guess, the CFO, the creator of this particular program. And I want to welcome Alex. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to WBAI. Hello. Hello there, Kathy. It's Alex here on the call with you guys. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Alex okay, Acuna. Great. Very good. Great. Great. Uh, and so, now, I actually met you, it seems to me, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, and you were you were organizing this particular program. Is Was it that, was it then that I, that we first met? Yes, it's it's been that, that long of a time. Probably started in 2003 uh, uh, or so, 2000. And four, so we started with the whole idea of the concept of helping people save money on their medications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and and now we have um, a, a really um, expansive program, and we are um, in sponsorship. WBAI is in sponsorship, working with you to provide these services to our listeners. So. Before we hone in, I think, on this free drug card, the prescription discount card, can you give a whole picture of what your uh, what we're providing for people through this program? Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Um, let, let's start off first with uh, such an incredible resource as, as WBAI is. Uh, they've been there for decades, almost as old as I am, almost 50 years old or longer. And and it's been helping the community in so many different ways, like your show, Gary's show, and so many other shows out there. So uh, it's a pleasure to me to be on now with the station and to help it in these uh, dire times now. And again, things happen in life. Uh, there is no security in anything anymore. If we if we look at our lives now. Uh, there's, there's no security in anything. Our jobs, you know, businesses, you, you see huge companies going out of business. Uh, people are downsizing and everything is getting really bad. Uh, even in reference now to healthcare, I guess it, it's more pronounced now because of Obamacare and people are just being aware of it. So, um, so what I saw back then in 2003 or so, 2004, I uh, had an opportunity to come out with this free prescription drug card. And I said, you know what, that that's a need. People are going to need it. It wasn't as much as it back then. But, you know, and, but I kind of projected what's going to start happening with people. And regular people will start losing their benefits and insurance companies will come in and pharmaceuticals. And we'll start doing what they're doing, like what they're doing now, more pronounced now. Uh, if you look at the whole history of it, uh, unions are being broken up. People are beginning now to have jobs that are part-time so they don't have to be given benefits. And, again, I saw all this. So the whole make of it, uh, we're based out of Washington, D.C., and I know nowadays that's not a great thing anymore, but that's going back back then. So we're based at 2020 Pennsylvania Avenue in out of Washington, D.C., and what we did is that we went out there and went after groups, uh, large groups, organizations, nonprofits, and charities, and that's what we gave this drug card to. And they did great with it. Uh, we set up, uh, uh, I guess, co-branded cards, co-branded sites for these organizations, and their members benefit. A lot of them didn't have insurance. A lot of people, a lot of them had their, the main employer was just, like say, as a husband, as an example, but the family didn't have any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of access to, to benefits or the prescription card. So that's what we created. So we did very well with that. And that was the whole concept, knowing that these things were going to start happening, you know, across the nation. And I guess we all have kind of foresight uh, in reference to, if you if you look at WBI and the the producers and all of us around, and I've been listening, you know, to you guys, you Kathy, Gary, you know, uh, all these shows, Democracy, all these shows that are out there, all these great buns and gutter, uh, buns and uh, uh, butter, and all all these great shows out there. I mean, we've been listening for years. So uh, 
we always known that we're kind of ahead of the curve. And it's really interesting. Alternative and all this stuff is always ahead of the curve. 20, 30 years ahead of what we are. So it, it's kind of, you know, we should be very happy and proud that this is what we are. We're, we're able to look into a crystal ball, look ahead into the future. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing, uh, much like now and a lot of with, with Gary, what he talks about, what, you know, the disasters and all this stuff that you should be preparing for. And it's happening now, the, uh, the tipping point and all this. This is all happening around us, both environmentally and now in healthcare. This is all falling apart. They're losing all their jobs, losing all their benefits, and now more than ever, this free, completely free drug card. Uh, people can have access to it and go to the website. You can go to WBAI.org and look at the, the, the screens that, sh- that change. And those are banners they're called, so you can go, I think it's like the third or fourth banner, and it says the National Drug Card, and that's who we are. And you'll be able to click on it, gives you a description, and then takes you to a website. And from that website, you'll be able to uh, look at what we are, our credentials. You know, we're registered with HIPAA, and we have all the compliance issues and all. And basically, you'll be able to, you know, learn about us right through the website. And that's the beauty about technology and the Internet and all that. You'll be able to, whatever you want, you can look right up on the site. And, and then from that point, which is more important, you can look for the search button for RX prices, for medication pricing. And that's what we want to do. By the way, this, this free drug card can be utilized literally at any pharmacy. Uh, your, your CVSs, Rite Aid, Walmart. Uh, any of the main pharmacies that are out there, Costco, you can actually use this prescription drug card. It's like a coupon if you look at it. It gives you a discount. It might give you between a 5 to a 30% or maybe more on name brand medications, and which is great. A lot of times you get no discounts on anything on name brand medications. They're very expensive. Uh, what's best, definitely... Uh, ask your doctor for the generic equivalent to that medication. And by the way, 73% of people or more use generics. Now, there's this whole, you know, uh, I guess scary word or people are not sure of or they're afraid of generics. Uh, are they the same? I will say that is exactly the same medication. The only difference is, is that the pharmaceuticals lost their patents to it. So some patents might be seven years, some might be 11 years. A lot of medications now are losing a lot of their patents. So now the generics are exactly the same exact medication. As, as long as they are, by the way, our program is here in the, in the continental U.S. and its territories. So, again, be aware of other programs that are out there. Uh, like these things from Mexico and India pharmacy and stuff, because those are not FDA regulated. So again, don't please don't take any chances. Be more safe here in the U.S. And at least you know we have really stringent and really incredible, I guess, kind of uh, quality and potency and stuff. So you definitely do, do not want to mess around with something that might do you know might harm you or kill you. So definitely you know yeah. go to your CVSs and all. And I think uh, on that point, I have to um, in some way make a personal point because um, this is not a program that necessarily supports taking um, over-the-counter and prescription drugs. And I'm more of a proponent of uh, complementary alternative solutions uh, rather than the drug solution. However, I do recognize how many people are taking drug um, solutions prescribed by their doctors because they find themselves in states of ill health where they need that um, some immediate remedy and whatever a person's belief or philosophy might be whatever my belief or philosophy might be there are millions of people and i'm sure thousands of people who are listening to this radio station at this moment who from time to time either themselves or someone in their family, 
is taking um, is taking a prescription to the drugstore and getting a something that was prescribed by their doctor, and they're engaged in um, this kind of um, healing therapy, and it, it's conventional and it's. Um, very prevalent. I know many, many people in my family are um, taking prescription drugs for various things, be it heart issues or um, other kinds of issues that they're dealing with. Uh, and I would never personally advocate for that necessarily. You know, I, I tend to advocate for the alternative way, but I also recognize that the alternative way is a process that takes a lot of dedication and time. And I feel that if people want to take that route, then they still have to go to a medical practitioner to wean themselves off of whatever drug therapies they may be on. It's not something you can do willy-nilly on one's own. But in the recognition that people do use prescriptions, and then from time to time I do too. If I go to the dentist and I need a painkiller, I'll probably do that. Or if I have a issue, you know, there, so there's, there are times when we all do this and, and, um, and have a need for it and it saves our lives. There are people whose lives who are saved by this. And so what we're suggesting is that you can, um, proceed and help WBAI at the same time. So I wonder if you could get into, let people know how this is going to help WBAI. And forgive me for my little, you know, aside, but, you know, I just felt it necessary to, to give my position on that. I, I 100% uh, agree with you. Uh, medication sometimes is a necessary evil, and ideally will be not to take them and do the natural path. Uh, again, holistic, natural medicine, uh, lifestyle, and all that. And basically, it's the food that we eat is doing all that damage to our body. And we do, do need medications, you know, uh, a lot of times. I mean, uh, like in reference when you're sick and you have a cold and it comes into, you know, a virus and you have to take antibiotics and stuff. And when you start looking into these medications are very expensive, uh, sleep issues, and, you know, sometimes we need that help. And, and again, it, uh, by all means, you know, that shouldn't be, you know, the, the thing of using medications, but in our society, and, and like you said, Kathy, and, and, and now we probably have thousands of people, and a lot of us, you know, we're, you know, we need to take these medications. But again, uh, what I'm, I'm concerned with people is, again, look at the medications and a lot of the interreactions with others. So again, try to the best thing is to wean off of them and go more on the natural. And there's a lot of great shows on the internet and here on you know on the station, especially with Gary and everything's out there. And a lot of great shows besides Gary, you know, that you have all you know ways to help you. But saying that, um, I, I guess the, the 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 thing would be how would this help the station? I guess that's what you wanted to ask, right, Kathy? Yeah, so that so that people can can make that choice. I mean, you know, there are a lot of folks who are taking you know things for their heart and things for their blood pressure and things for their um, diabetes and things. You know, there there are people who are actively um, going to their physicians and being prescribed medications, but they can also help BAI, and that's what I want to let people know. Okay, great, yes. Um, looking at this uh, project and this thing with this free drug card, again, you can go to um, WBAI.org, look at the banner, and they'll probably put it in some other prevalent place so you'll be able to see it easier, but you'll be able to just go to the banners, click, click on the national drug card, and then click on it, and then go into the website. From that point, you'll be able to print out a card. Uh, it's a document. It tells you how to use the card, and then on the bottom of it has the codes and everything that the pharmacist would need so they can put it into the system. And then let's say you get a prescription from your doctor and you go to CVS, right, at Walgreens, whatever, or even your local. And this is what I would suggest, too. Um, go to the website and put in your medication there on the price searches. 
and then this way the website would, by zip code, will give you all the pharmacies in your area, whatever you want, three miles, five miles, ten, ten miles within an area, and give you the prices. So you can shop around for which uh, pharmacy will give you the best price. And I'm all for your local mom and pop pharmacy. Believe it or not, they give you the lowest price. Uh, our network or our system is able to go through what's out there and all these pharmacy networks that are out there and then give you pricing so you'll be able to see which way it will be able to save you the most money. Uh, some people might be taking five or ten medications, believe it or not, but imagine that you might have to go to two or three different pharmacies, but you might be saving thirty, fifty, or hundred dollars. So you're saying, well, you know what? If I'm saving that much money, then it's worth it for me. So I'll make a little effort. So again, that's what I would suggest. But even though some people might just need it, you know, I got a cold or I need uh, allergy medication or I need something, and then the doctor gives you a prescription. Then you go to the pharmacy and you have nothing at all. With this card, this document. You'll be able to just bring it over and then just give it to the pharmacist, and then that pharmacist instantly will give you the discounted price. So if a medication was $70, it might come back to you be for $40. I mean, that's a pretty good savings for something that's free. So now this is no cost to you. You're getting the discounted price right off the top, and you're saving this money. Now, saying that, how is it going to help the station? Now that we're partnering up with the station, WBI, and helping them raise funds and raise this important, uh, valuable service there to the community, a portion, it's called a processing fee that the pharmacies pay, like CVS and stuff. They pay a small fee, not much money, but that fee gets goes back to us, and then the large portion of that goes back to the organization like WBI. At this point, am I able to say the amount of money, Kathy? Well, you've already said a lot of prices, so I don't, I don't think it will hurt at this point. Okay. Uh, every time a medication that you get a discount, and again, this is not coming out of your pocket, the discounted price, you, you pay the discounted price, and, and a small portion of that money goes back to us, National Drug Car, and a larger portion goes back now, to, again, to support the station. A dollar seventy-five goes back to the station, which, and again, that could be a nice donation to the station without really making much of an effort from something that you need anyhow. So again, the dollar seventy-five goes back to the station, and it's per medication. So if people are taking three medications, five medications, or more, again, uh, you know, three times a dollar seventy-five is almost like six something dollars. This goes back to the station. And every time uh, when people need to go back with this medication, then it's already registered into the system. So even if you lose this card or you lose this document at your pharmacy, you can go back and it's there in their records. So then this way you can, on a continuous basis, if you are taking, you know, monthly medication, which, you know, sadly most people are, you're you're donating every single time, and it's, of course, it's not coming out of your pocket. You're saving money, but let's look at it that the pharmacies are paying that portion back to WBI on a monthly basis. So that's a great way to keep distributing back to the station on a, on a regular basis. So I, I think that's really a, a great way to donate to the station, huh, Kathy? Uh, I think that it is, and also the 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 way that it would be beneficial, of course, is if there were more people who were involved in this program. So it's really easy in the sense that you can go to wbai dot org. There are two, at least two clicks. You click on to the the rotating screen at the top, the banner. And that takes you to a basic information page, and which has a video on it, by the way, um, and a good description of what the whole program is about. And you click onto the WBAI uh, page where you can, uh, with with the organization, where you can actually download. You can just go there and and print the card or print a a sheet with all the information of the card right from the website. And then you can go directly to the pharmacy. So technically, you don't have to sign up for anything. You don't have to register anything. You don't have to um, 
at this, you know, for this particular thing, order uh, pledge for a premium. It's more of an ongoing thing that allows us to slowly build a operating capital behind the scenes based on your participation. So it's not something that you would use for yourself. You can uh, you can print out one and give it to your mom and give it to your aunt and give it to your brother. And so that it becomes a more collective effort of uh, involvement with this program. And as the collective... Uh, participants continue to use it, they, you, will continue to get a discount and WBAI will be able to accumulate those dollars behind the scenes. So it's not a dollar seventy five might not seem like much, but if a million people get prescriptions, that that could be a lot. So that's really the principle behind it. Um, uh, have I left anything out? Um, no, I mean, you kind of summed up pretty nice. Mm-hmm. The other thing that I would say also, too, that when you click on it, it takes you to a website that has the WBA banner and all and everything there in reference to WBAI. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, too, if you want, you can print extra documents like Kathy was just mentioning or you know, these free drug cards. You can print them out. And also there's another section where you can order now where you can order, you can Put in orders, like say if you have churches, organizations, or whatever it might be, and then WBI now is going to be in the process of having these free drug cards that they can mail out to people so they can give to organizations or to churches or to whoever it might be to get the word out there to help WBI. I think that's another great feature as well. Yeah, so it's like it's like a it's like a grassroots campaign to to begin to build an ongoing support for WBAI. And what's good about it is like when they receive the drug card, when your family and friends receive the drug card, they'll say, Hmm, what is this WBAI? Maybe I should tune in and what they're gonna tune in to find out is that they can actually get off their drugs. When they listen to Gary No, they'll yeah. know that there there is a true alternative to what they're doing, and so in in a in a way it helps it helps people by saving the money. It helps to promote the radio station. It raises funds for the radio station, and hopefully it'll bring more people to the table to be educated about how to live a healthy life, and then they may begin to pledge for the Gary Null premiums or the Heart of Mind premiums or the Armand DeMille premiums, and then they can begin to integrate that holistic lifestyle, and that's important too. And I recognize that, that you have a deep understanding of how important that is is by the companion piece to the National Drug Card, and that's the Savings Club, which is not a fundraiser, actually, for WBAI or anybody. It's a companion piece to the program to give people a more broader spectrum of options. So tell us something about the Savings Club. Okay, great. Then thanks again for that as well. Um, I wanted to say again, looking at what the trends were, we're going. Uh, been involved with benefits now for over 25 years, and I've seen everything from medical to, I guess, for blood work, for MRIs. I mean, I've been involved with all that. And, and then I waited until last year, October, like the second week or so of October, until Obamacare passed. And I knew from that point it's time to launch this NDC Savings Club. Which what it is is literally a healthcare savings club. I think it's the first of its nation and the first of its kind that's out there in the country. And basically, what I have done is uh, with my partners is to put together a whole hub, a whole directory where people will be able to go there and look for savings on all the healthcare needs. And the whole savings club is geared towards healthcare. Uh, on there, we have everything from savings and from dental and vision, which a lot of people need, and they can get a, a great discounted programs there that they can purchase if they need to. 
We got for blood work and laboratory work that you can go there and go to the site for MRI and CT scans, which again, what we need. Uh, you have for glasses, like six six dollars ninety five cent glasses that people need. We have a whole section there for senior care. And by the way, when you go into these different categories, you can click on to the site. Or you can also look at it from your mobile phones as well. Your mobile device is completely geared for that as well. And you can actually do the research. By the way, when you go to, to the drug card or even to the savings club, there's nothing to join. It's all free. There's no cost to you. There's no email to try to sign up for. And I think that's so important. I hate to go to sites where they want my email and stuff. And they just use that for purposes to keep bothering you, to keep sending you other stuff. We, I don't like that, and I don't have that in any of our programs. So I think a lot of you people would appreciate that. We're not bugging you. We're not chasing you. No. Um, it's all there. It's free. People can just have access to it. You can share it with people if you want to. And, by the way, another great thing about our sites, both uh, with the WBAI drug car site that we have set up for them and also the Savings Club, the the sites can be translated into over 52 different languages. So, again, you know, we have people that are from different ethnic groups from different parts of the world and stuff that might not be able to read it. And, by the way, too, on the free drug card for WBI, that can also be translated. The document can be translated into different languages. Of course, the bottom one will be in English uh, for the pharmacy to use, but then that document will tell, you know, the person how to use it. So, again, these sites... I help design these sites, and I design them so to help people. And, again, if you go into the Savings Club, it's everything there, over 75 different benefits. We have a whole section there for seniors, and there's a whole bunch of you know centers there and research that people can go to. We have a whole section there for holistic and natural medicine. Of course, Gary's on there as well because he has incredible you know, you know, info for people. And, again, these are resources. Uh, I get emails, which is pretty interesting, that out of our 75 benefits and stuff, people are getting back to us and say, you know, this holistic and this person, Gary, no, they never knew he existed, which is pretty interesting. But, again, it, it just goes to show you that most people are not aware of this stuff. So this is what we have. Along with it, we have for legal services if you need to, for contact lenses. We have their whole, a free travel club. And, again, you know, people need to save money on travel. We have that. All these things are there for you. Coupons. Uh, my wife uses it all the time for a supermarket, going to a uh, children's place to buy my daughter clothes. She gets these 10, 20, 30 percent coupons. She uses it. And, you know, all these incredible things are there at this savings club for entertainment, free re resources. Uh, the resources is also pretty amazing. Uh, we have there all kinds of, believe it or not, government resources that people can have access to that you know people are not aware of and we have that there for people we have a whole section there for women uh on there is pretty interesting there's a whole social network there for women that can communicate with each other and all there's grants for women in, in that in that section there for women and then we have a whole section there for men you know men like our crazy stuff and gadgets and electronics and and all this stuff so again we kind of compile a really a great site so then people can just go there, uh, bookmark it, and share it with friends and family and say, look, here's a resource center that people can utilize. So, again, I think that it is something that's needed, especially nowadays, how bad things are in reference to health care and the cost. People are losing their insurance, losing their jobs, being you know downsized and all, and they have no benefits. Now, we have a resource. Now, I, I will bring this up. Um, we are not, we do not sell the insurance, which you have to be licensed and everything show, and you have to be an insurance agent or these exchanges now. Uh, we don't sell any of that in, in insurance products. And, again, you have to go to Obamacare and the exchanges to get that. But for everything else that you might need besides the insurance reference to hospitalization and, and uh, catastrophic, uh, catastrophic you know, injuries, whatever, that's regular insurance. What we are, what we put together here, it's an, kind of an alternative. If you can't afford the insurance, this is what the savings club would be. Because, again, if you, have, you can't afford you know, $300, 500 $1,000, or $2,000 a month for regular insurance for your family, 
then you don't have anything at all. At least here, you'll be able to go here and say, you know, I need dental work. My kids need, you know, disc, you know, dental braces. I uh, have a cavity, whatever, and I have no health insurance. Uh, they can come over here and get these plans at a, at a great uh, discounted price for for the families and need it for MRIs and they might need it for blood work, for glasses, and whatever other things that we have here, you'd be able to utilize. So, Kathy, I think this is something that definitely over 75 different benefits and probably growing to provide people with a great resource, a great hub so they can go and utilize it. That sounds really great. And and one of the things, you know, and it's really this complement, which is really of no benefit to WBAI or even to you. It's really just the service end of your program where you've you've just assembled all of these resources because as a human being you need these things too and you recognize that other people need them and so it's really a portal of information and resource and access and so what we're saying here at WBAI is that we're always leaning on you our listeners to support us to be able to give that pledge to be able to you know write that check or pull out your credit card and and send the money directly to wbai well this is a fund drive we're still doing that <laughs> yes we do want you to call 212-209-2950 and make a pledge of support however what we're saying is that we had an opportunity to provide you with something a resource that can be helpful to you and with the uh the drug card it's really a discount drug card then um a little bit of the uh a little bit of income comes to wbai for each prescription filled so the real percentage there is in the numbers and so it's a it's a complicated thing to offer for someone who uh such as myself who actually is a support of um, alternative medicine, even beyond complementary medicine, I still recognize because I believe it doesn't mean my brother believes it or my cousin believes it or that, you know, understands what I might understand, but I still love them and I want to help them. And so if these services can help the people that I love and care about, then it's it's really worth it for me to say, yeah, let's let's see if this can work. Let's see if this can help people in their lives on a regular basis with some of those costs. And in the process, WBAI gets helped and it helps to also spread the word spread the news that there is a WBAI, that this is an organization that cares about people and is a resource for people. And so even as we are um, letting people know about this program, we're also letting people know about WBAI. So for those of you who resonate with this, you know, go to WBAI.org and go to the sliding screen at the top. What did you say that was called? A banner. <clears throat> a banner at the top of WBAI.org. You'll find the banner, the correct one, click on it, and then you'll get a, a whole page to explain the program. You click again and you go to uh, another page uh, where you can download. It's uh, has It'll have WBAI logo for the National Drug Card. You can download the actual uh, paper. Um, that you can take to the pharmacy and get your discount. So you could do that right now. If you were on your way to the pharmacy, go get a discount um, sheet from the website and begin to save money right away. And share it. Share the information. Share the news. Let people know. And help us to build a program that can, through the expansion of this program, help to support WBAI. Correct, Kathy. And, and again, I guess for the people, myself, and again, to let everyone know to please call to also donate to the station. I guess that number again is 212 uh, 290 2950. 2950. Okay. 212 209 2950. And I think, um, um, Alex, I, I'm going to play a little clip of one of the Gary Knoll premiums to encourage people to do yes. to do that and make a pledge. So I want to make sure that we've covered everything, however. 
Yes, uh, I, I just wanted to also let people be aware of that once they get the card, and we're also going to have physical card that we're going to donate to the station as well. Uh, on the back of the card, it's going to have the WBI logo and all, and it will say WBI.org. So then this way, people, if you do you know, ask for these cards, to give it to your friends, your family, and your neighbors, because, you, again, you know, just never know. People need this, and they need the savings. So then this way, you'll be able to give them these these free cards, and every every time they're used, a the proceed goes back to the station, which is great for the station. And hopefully, on a regular monthly basis, you know, these proceeds are coming back to the station. So it, it is on the card, and you know, again, get the word out there to help the station. And again, in return, uh, it's kind of a great benefit to let the community know that this great station WB is out there because you figure that if, if you have used this card, you know, this free discount drug card and saved you money. And, and by the way, Kathy, I will say people do save considerable amount of money, especially on the generics. So in that sense, they can say, wow, I saved this much money. But then again, it might open up the doors into looking into the savings club to help them save money into all the other uh, benefits and health care that they need. And then they might, interesting, might look at holistic and say, oh, what is this holistic area? And then they can click on that and learn about holistic. And then maybe they can start helping themselves get off these medications. And, and they say, wow, this is really a, a all-around win-win, great organ, you know, a program uh, to let other people know about about WBI. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me this afternoon, and I do hope that all of you tuning in will at least take a look at this and see how you might be able to benefit. And I also ask you to, you know, use this card if you're using prescriptions, if you have prescriptions. It's certainly to your benefit to have a discount, and it's certainly to WBAI's benefit um, as a result of that uh, use of the of the card. And so, please, please uh, consider doing that. Go to wbai dot org, our website. We'll give you the access, the windows to be able to uh, download the prescription discount card, as well as to connect with the um, the the network of other resources that are available to you.